Hi, my name is Tracy Peterson, and I wrote a book called Beanies, Ball Caps, and Being Bald. I wrote it with a first grader named Matthew about his journey with alopecia. Listen and learn about alopecia, and listen for Matthew's message of different isn't bad, different is just different. My name is Matthew. My mom and my family call me Foo. I'm a regular kid with two brothers and a mom and a dad and a dog named Rizzo. I like to ride my bike and play basketball and wrestle with my brothers. I especially love video games. Last year, I started kindergarten. It was awesome, but then something strange happened. It began in February, on February 17th to be exact. My mom said she thought that my hair was falling out. I didn't notice at first, but then I did. It was. My hair kept falling out and I was kind of, sort of, getting bald. I didn't know any other kids who were bald or even kind of bald. It was pretty weird. We went to the doctor. He said I had alopecia. I said, "Allo, what? He told me that alopecia is where your body attacks your hair follicles. Follicles are like tiny flower pots that grow each piece of your hair, giving it all the nutrients and stuff it needs. But when you have alopecia, your body thinks your hair is the enemy. It attacks the little flower pots and makes your hair fall out. It all sounded kind of odd to me. Back at home, my mom brushed the hair that was still on my head this way and that way to hide the empty patches, but that didn't work too great. It made me kind of sad. I decided right then and there that alopecia stinks. One day, mom got a great idea. She said, how about wearing a ball cap? Yes, genius, a ball cap. We got several. I wore my ball caps to school and wore my ball caps to play. I did everything in my ball caps. When the sun went down, I would take off my ball cap and give my head fresh air. At bedtime, I would say, hey body, my hair is not fighting you. Just leave it alone. I didn't know if my body could hear me. Summer mostly went by that way. I kept looking to see if hair would come back, but I also kind of got used to it. Then one summer morning, I woke up and looked in the mirror. There was some extra hair. My hair was growing back. Where had it been hiding all summer? I looked at the front, the back, the sides. I did have hair again. I left that ball cap at home and started first grade. Ha ha, alopecia, take that. The next thing I knew, I was rocking first grade with my friends. I was reading up a storm. I'm a good reader. I was writing so much. I'm a great writer. I was doing math. I am an incredible mather. First grade was awesome until my hair decided to go away again. Back to the doctor we went. He looked and rubbed my head and said, sorry, Matthew, the alopecia came back. Oh, man. By this time, I could tell that other kids were noticing I was bald. Sometimes kids I didn't know would look at me. Sometimes I would hear them say things like, hey, look at that bald kid, or that boy doesn't have any hair. Somebody even said to their friend, I dare you to go touch him. I wanted to tell them, yeah, I look different, but different isn't bad, different is just different. Well, soon it got colder. One day my mom said, how about a beanie, foo? <gasps> yes, genius, a beanie. Beanies are warm and cozy, so I started to rock a beanie. I got a blue beanie, a gray beanie, a black and white beanie, a UFO beanie, a polar bear beanie, and my favorite, a fire-breathing dragon beanie. At school, nobody ever really said anything, but sometimes I felt like they were looking at me, so we made a plan. My mom and my teacher found a funny movie that explained alopecia. My teacher and I showed it to the class and they laughed, in a good way. I told them the flower pot story. I told them that alopecia means that my immune system, a part of our bodies that usually stops us from getting sick, is fighting my hair because it thinks it's the enemy. And that's what makes my hair fall out. I also told them, I'm not sick, I just have alopecia. You can't catch it like a virus, it's just my alopecia. I am smart, I just have alopecia. I'm a regular kid that loves sports and Legos and bikes and video games, I just have alopecia. They listened to me, they asked me questions and you know what, they agreed with me. The different isn't bad, different is just different. When I talked to my class, my best friend Harry was there. He knows about my alopecia and doesn't make it a big deal. He doesn't stare at my bald head or whisper about me behind my back. He is a friend and he knows I am me, whether I have hair on my head or not. One day I stayed home from school because I had a cold. When Harry got home from school, his sister told him that I wasn't at school because I was sick. Harry yelled at her and said, he's not sick, he has alopecia. I really was sick with a cold that day but everyone needs a Harry. 
That's the thing. When something is different about someone and kids don't have the right information, they can be mean. But when they understand what's going on, almost everyone can see past bald. Almost everyone can see past different. Sometimes, actually lots of times, maybe even most times, I don't even think about it. It's kind of nice having hair, but it's okay being bald too. My hair might grow back, but it might not. One day, I might even rock the bald look. My friends and family know why I'm bald. They also know I'm me, whether I have hair or not. We all agree that alopecia stinks. At least it has shown us all that different isn't bad. Different is just different.